Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bite of Moab. That's right, the G is still silent, even to this day. Uh, we're going to be trying Retro Wave. I know people like synth wave music. Uh, I kind of like it as well. It kind of gives you a 80s cyberpunk type of feel. And this game, it's a racing game. It's not like a Slipstream, where it's a 2D pixel game. This one's more like a 3D minimalist game with a uh, colorful vaporwave vibes so you know what let's check this out and maybe put on some uh pink uh glasses and just have a good old time let's do this so one thing i will note it's really hard to see what you're selecting here See, this thing starts to move around. So you select a car. You see, you don't know where you're going. And you gotta go next. <clears throat> Let's do, uh... One way. You know what? Let's go Cyber City. I'll show you how this game works. You press Y to change a view. This is going to get really hard. You essentially have to kind of dodge in and out of traffic. So if you hit a car like this, game over. It's a very simple game loop. And you change the music by pressing left and right on the D-pad. I find this is the best view up here, as a verse to here, because you're just going to have cars uh, being instantiated in front of you. And it's going to be hard to see. This is the easiest way to see it. But after a while, you just start to get in your mind. You can see up ahead. It's kind of like Flappy Bird. Yeah, you remember Flappy Bird. The synth weight Flappy Bird. <laughs> you can honk your horn. And if you honk your horn, they're supposed to move out of the way. So. <laughs> I'll try to do it at the beginning right here where I honk the horn, you can see it. See, bonk my horn right here. And it's supposed to move out of the way. See, he's moving. Not everyone moves, so just like real life, if you're gonna honk your horn like crazy, not everyone's gonna follow you and try to get out of the way. And you get points for near misses. So one of the secrets I found is you don't look... You don't look at your car, you look all the way up ahead, right here. And try to keep an eye on that. And with your peripheral vision, you kind of watch the car and make sure it's weaving in and out of traffic. Yeah, then you crash. So, ultimately, you tr your goal, I guess, is to earn points, and your points work outside of the work outside of the game and. You go and purchase cars, upgrades, so better handling, better acceleration, things like that. So 
Oh, let me show you what it does. So if you go back to main menu here, and you see how much money we have. See, this is where it's really hard to see what you're selecting. I wish they would have changed that. So now I have this car. You can also change the colors, but it costs you money. It might be easier just doing this, to be honest. <clears throat> Overall, it's a great game, but the user interface is very confusing. Uh, especially for the Steam Deck. I really would have taken this back to the drawing board. Maybe have a little bit of white box, transparent white box of what you're selecting, so you know what you're selecting, but, I mean, other than that, the game, it's fine, it runs great on the Steam Deck, and if you're ever interested in retro wave, vapor wave kind of game, synth waves, this is it, this might be the game for you, especially for racing, uh, it's not racing racing, but, you know what I mean, you've, you've seen, you saw the video, but, thank you for watching the video, be sure to like and hit that thumbs up button, uh, you know, comment below any kind of favorite moments of the game you like. Uh, be sure to comment any kind of future games you want me to see, uh, especially on a Steam Deck here. And you know what? Also, hit that subscribe button. That really does help the channel out. But as with everything, hope you have a great day and a great year and have a good one. Thank you for watching.